doesn't just run, it rumbles, it roars, it flies! <laughs> It's a man. Let's go, ya hunk of junk. Oh, but if you just check the... Quiet, Sammy. Can't you see I got a problem here? But if you just take a look in the... <laughs> Ouch! All right. Don't listen. Hell, what am I thinking of? Bah! I know it dry as a bone. You believe this, Sammy? It's just that a guess. Silly me. <laughs> Every one of those teensy-looking stars could be bigger than our sun. Wagawan! Oh, Amazing! It's true. And there aren't just stars up there. There are planets, meteorites, asteroids. But the most amazing thing is that the heavens are endless. You mean we could never reach the end? I mean we could never reach the end because there is no end. At least not that I've ever seen. Look! That star's moving! Hmm. A satellite. What's a satellite? Uh, a little metal ball of manimals shoot into <gasps> the sky. What for? Oh, don't ask me. But there are lots of them, and sooner or later, they're going to start coming down round our ears. Say, there are our cosmic cousins, the Great Bear and the Little Bear. Huh? huh? What? There are bears up there? Huh? <laughs> well, groups of stars oh. named for bears. Huh? The Little Bear looks like a wagon, and the Great Bear looks like a wagon turned upside down. See? It's useful to know that if you're ever lost at night. Because when you follow these two stars down past the end of the Great Bear, you find the Pole Star here, right at the tip of the little bear's tail. And the Pole Star tells you which way is north. Oh, oh, oh wow. Wow. Can we try it and see if it works? <laughs> you mean get lost on purpose to see if the pole star will guide you home? Sure. <laughs> Maybe someday, when I've taught you more about navigating by the stars. But now, that's enough for tonight. Off to bed with you. all these holes. A mole with a toothache that was driving him crazy? <laughs> Could be. Might have known they were doing it. Oh, 
But what are they looking for? Rolf! Over there! By the cliff! <laughs> what? We'll have to quit, Skulk. It's raining. <laughs> it's not raining. Sammy, we've done it. We've struck oil. Look. <laughs> What are we looking for this stuff for? It tastes terrible. You idiot! It's not to eat, it's to exploit. <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! Jack is left! Jack is left! Jack is left! Why? Oh. Some days I hate being a henchman. Yuck! Did you smell it? Ugh, it stinks. We better go tell Plato. Those weasels find new ways to mess up the forest every day. <laughs> and it doesn't just oh. smell, it's sticky and dirty too. Yeah. Strange. I've never seen water like that in the forest. Too bad about that spring too. Spring? What spring? The one at the foot of the cliff. The black water Skulk found is running right into it. It's ruined. Oh, no! My spring! Oh. 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 Some cold water! Quick! Oh. Here it comes! Huh? better now. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh. You scared us. Yeah, but what happened, Plato? Little ones, it's time I told you my secret. Secret? Huh? Yes. <clears throat> you know I'm older than you are, but have you ever wondered how much older? Huh? Well, perhaps that's because, for a very long time now, I haven't grown any older. What? That's right. Why, when I was your age, none of the trees in this forest was any taller than I was. The trees and I grew up together. I should have gone up to the heavens to join the great bear a long time since. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, yes. But then I discovered my secret, and I haven't aged a day from that time to this. But that's all over now. My secret's been destroyed. Destroyed? The spring at the foot of the cliff. Yes, my very own fountain of youth. It never worked for anyone else but for me. A little each morning has kept me as young as the day I found it, both in the flesh and in the spirit, too. But what's going to happen to you now? Well, if, if I can't drink the spring's magic waters, I'm afraid I'll weaken fast. <sighs> I guess it's just a matter of time. Plato! <laughs> 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 that Skulk! And Sammy, we'll get them for this! Right. But that won't save Plato's fountain of youth, or Plato either! a pittance today and get pots tomorrow. Last chance, going cheap. Buy before the stock runs out. Petroskulk. Buy with what? Huh? I don't know. With, uh, with anything. 
Why should we? Well, to, uh, to watch your investment grow, of course. We've struck oil. When I sell it to the animals, they'll come with their machines and pump it out of the earth. We'll all be rich. Filthy rich. Yeah. Filthy rich and stinking rich. This oil of yours is deadly, Skulk. It's already destroyed the spring at the foot of the cliff, and we'll never forgive you for that. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's one little spring, more or less? There are lots of others. Hmm. Ah, uh, what a bunch of dummies. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize a good offer if it jumped up and hit you. Lame brains on the left, rockheads on the right. Calling me a rockhead, bud? Oh, my mistake. You should be on the left. You look more the lame brain type. <laughs> and you look like you're leaving. Hey, let go! <laughs> Toodaloo! Him and his horrible oil. Oil? Is that what that smelly black water is? Yes! And it's dangerous! It burns! Water that burns? I saw a manimal motor cart fall off its path once. The manimal inside ran out just in time. It exploded! I've never seen such flames! Oh, oh no! no. But if what you say is true, Skulk's oil could set the forest on fire any time! Yep! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Close the in, Jason, and post the red warning! It's not safe for travelers to stop here anymore! I'd be happy to stay and help, but as they say, a touring turtle must trundle on! Our cousin's getting married in the Andes! We have a long flight ahead. Safe home and Godspeed. We'll have to manage somehow. I'll stay if you want me. You bet we do. His face is getting more wrinkled. I'm fine. Uh, let me sleep. You have more important things to tend to. <sighs> They'll be all right. It's flowing faster by the minute. A uh, farther, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The oil's reached Rodney's dam. Oh, no! There you are. It hasn't reached the lake yet, but it won't be long. Come on, we have to move fast. Good, that'll slow it down at least. Skulk's not gonna like this. <laughs> Skulk, it slugged our oil well. What? Where are you? What? How dare they flood my well?
Sammy, come here and help me with this rock. <laughs> and me without my boots. Boots? You wear boots to walk on pure gold? Ugh. Gold? Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> Never move that rock in a hundred years. Here's hoping. Huh? Fire! Hey, this stuff burns. Well, of course it does, numb skull. That's why it's so precious. Sound the alarm! I'll be right back! Tina, wait! Things are getting too hot to handle around here! around here somewhere. Here, welly, welly. Here, welly. Well, the fire's out, and that oil is locked away in the earth again. We have a lot to be thankful for. I didn't do it on purpose, Plato. Oh, we know. We know. Thanks, Plato. Come on. Let's go find your mother. How much time do you Mama. think we have with Plato? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Plato! Come back! Are you calling me? The spring! Your fountain of youth! 
Why, Galloping Grizzlies, it's back! <laughs> Bless my soul. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> oh. mm, that spring's got them really excited. Never mind oil. Maybe we should bottle that water and sell it to the manimals. Get serious, Sam. Manimals aren't dumb. Who'll pay good money for bottled water? Yeah! <laughs>